time to get back somewhere right. to start working. It's kind of part time. The schedule is broken, so it's I'm practically it's on call. It's like I can't go back to to the shelter like by 4:30 or 5:30. I can't come back sometimes until 10, 11. Okay, the only so the only thing, and this is out of my this 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 one part, or there's a couple parts that are out of our control, and one of them that is out of my control <coughs> is the foot traffic. <coughs> excuse me, foot traffic in or out of the shelter. I am 100% forbidden to allow foot traffic in and out of the shelter, and I have no control over it. It's not my. Yeah, because people are saying that only you can get in or get out with it bus or whatever that uh, so you commute. you can get in and out on the shuttles that transport in and out those yeah. who have their own car have a little bit of, a, of an advantage because they can remember they want basically yeah a, i mean mm -hmm. you know we have to temper that too we can't have 95 times in and sure. out like it's yeah. you know be reasonable. reasonable and responsible about yeah okay, and if that. i go work i'm doing moving uh -huh. i'm trying to get back on moving so if we go and work to San Diego, we have to leave five o'clock in the morning. Right. Sometimes four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I mean, it's like. And where, where, you know, how do you? So answer me this. Yeah. I think this will help figure out a solution. How do you get to your moving job? So like, you meet a crew somewhere. You no, meet we a, already have a. We have a driver. We have a car. Right. So we're going there. Can Can he pick you up and drop you off? Yes. If he can pick you up and but drop you off, no problem. problem with the time about leaving, like five o'clock. No, 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 no. That's the only, the only thing I want to say is, we're only doing so for folks who are going to be foot traffic. We're doing a couple of shuttles out a day and a couple back. People who have their own car or who have their own transport. Yeah. We, as long as you know it's reasonable and re responsible. I mean, I think it's could be kind of like, like if you can have thing if, if, if it's you, like I'm working yeah. right you know and if you know, have someone who can pick you up pick you up have them come pick yeah, you up they can come over in the morning they can come over in the morning five o'clock yeah. pick me up go work but again we can come back like seven eight nine it's I'm, that's fine I'm if you're working we're not going to stand in the way of you working so you guys can do it because some yeah but you have to it has to be a, it can't advanced. be foot traffic. It has to be a vehicle picking you up and dropping you off. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no foot traffic. I'm going to tell them whoever, hey, go in, pick me up. Go up. in. All they got to do is come up. Yeah. Some, yeah. You know, come That's to the front desk. We'll like, say, hey, in, out. Yeah. come on out. There's a car. Yep, yeah. there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can do that. Here's and uh, another thing. Are you guys... So right now we're going to go... What's going to be? Like presentation or... <laughs> no, oh, it's intake assign you your your bed give you your linens give yeah, you a tour of the facility i, I just got the release like yesterday right. so still need to pack so many things and right. dump so many things are we going to be able like come back here like, um vehicle so, if i get a vehicle so to get today here's out, the and, here, and here's the one thing <laughs> so every today's going to be probably today tomorrow saturday and sunday are going to be not the norm because we're going to be coming out and doing this and we're not going to have a bunch of ability to like coordinate the transports out. So our transports out of the facility will be like on emergency basis as needed. Yeah, but Monday, sense. coming Monday, like it'll be regular operations. Get up. Yeah. Here's breakfast. Right now, those going I, out I'm asking about bus. because if I need to get back like in three hours, two hours over here, how do I get back? Because so if if that's the case, I mean just to be completely honest with you mm -hmm. just so i don't mess you up yeah, yeah. i would just wait till the next bus if you've got stuff to do out here this morning because we're coming back we're, yeah. we're gonna go it's drop the these bus. folks off and come back yeah uh -huh. so if you've got stuff you need to handle i would i would encourage you to handle it and then that way when we come back you're squared away because it's going to take a couple hours we're going to need your undivided attention for a few hours once okay. we get there then i'll go uh on the next one Okay. No, one more question for him. I think he probably wanted was about housing. Like, how is he gonna? Do they navigate him into housing once he gets in? We try. It's works? you know, it's part of the deal. Is we, yeah. you know, we. If I could guarantee housing for everyone, I'd do it right now. Yeah. It's just availability, your yeah. um, ready, readiness for housing. Like, do you have all your vital documents? Do you have some? I, form I don't know of what, what you need. I was trying to ask around. Birth certificate. Yep. California ID or or another state ID, a valid ID of some uh -huh. sort, social security card, uh -huh. birth certificate. Yeah. Um, if we got those three things, we get a VI spadat. Um, we we got the bankings to start a process for you for housing. But 
we there's no housing guarantee attached to any of this just basically because number one the housing inventory doesn't exist you know the, the yeah, access, everybody we have yeah to it and yeah. then you know we we do put you in the coordinated entry system and then you're working so you have a leg up on everyone because we I'm also do some very work, some very work creative yeah. housing solutions that we do like we have people that will rent to us um or let us master these places for our folks because yeah. um we just have the relationship with them i'll get another question very quick so, because i lost my uh some social security certificate and a while ago in Chicago, mm -hmm. Illinois, yeah. and I never re redo it. I Just a social security card? Uh, th the same. I never got a new one back. Okay. That's all right. That's just a trip down to the social so, security office. We'll help you go, we'll yeah. So, go that. how does it work? If I have a girlfriend and she's coming with me, so can she get prices first and I move in with her, or how is that? Yeah, it doesn't. It, that's. I, there's no stipulation on you have to come at the same time. We don't, we're not. I mean, if I'm getting the lab with my paperwork, right. you have to in the hand. Right. So, and there's opportunity to, for housing. Oh, for housing. If she is going in. So you can be, the way, the way it works, in my experience has been, if she gets, if she was to get a housing voucher, she could name you on her housing yeah, voucher. That's my question. And you could go together. Okay. But that's here's the thing. We'll be able to get you if, if you'll be able to like do your footwork that we that we have you do um, and do the things that we need you know as far as proactive and getting your documents we can get your documents pretty quickly that's not okay, going to take well, a long time yeah that's what is the question so for beginning like for start okay because I got a Sarah Johnson I don't know if you remember her I don't not no. on top of my head Chatter I mean five like five or six people who went through you guys. And they were telling me go to your uh, interview on Friday. So I'm like, okay, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Yeah. What yeah, the the job interviews? No, with you oh, guys. Oh, for, for the for the shelter, the, for the housing. Right. Whatever. Because one of them together, he said like less than a month, you guys could come up with the uh, uh, housing, like a room or somewhere, huh? Like First, a rental. Like, yeah, you guys have some kind of interview and you discuss some points. Huh? Yes, so that's the assessment I was talking about. Oh, yeah. There's a process. I mean, there's a process. We do yeah. it every day. It's a, it's a thing. It's just not every... One of the, the frustrating parts about it, for you and for us, is there's a lot determined by um, the availability of yeah, whatever they're... affordable housing, number one. Um, the score that someone scores on that assessment, which is... It's a completely... Um, subjective thing it's it's based basically on your situation so you and him although you're both maybe camped in the same area um, depending on what your life circumstances are and whatever other challenges you have that score could be completely different yeah you could score a 70 yeah my you score, score is my score his, 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 is his. I mean, everybody's different. some have more severe issues they need the co-occurring housing things. faster right yeah right. yeah and then that also dictates that certain people fall into other categories and are available for things that the guy sleeping five feet from you isn't available for, yeah, which yeah. is madness, but it's just right. the, the facts. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, I guess, uh, let's see. Um, yeah. We'll be back, um, depending on what time the, this bus is gonna pull out when we got about, we're gonna make it about 15 to 20 people. Yeah. And then we'll be back. Um, at least one more time, probably twice more today. Okay. So handle your business and then, what's yeah. your name again? Vladimir. Vladimir, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. I'll look for you when we come back. Nice to meet you. God bless you. I'm Josh. Nice Bruce. to meet you guys. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you, Jim. Josh, me yeah, and Bruce are going to take off back okay. to the shelter. Okay. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, check out the channel. You got my I will. I got hands on it. And you'll be uh, famous on uh, my channel. <laughs> I really appreciate you answering the questions because people are wondering and that's no, how I'm, I'm happy to do it. I appreciate it. We have a Sergeant Cooper famous. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We made him famous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, right. Um, you can go for it or what do you think? I'm gonna make you still a couple of phone calls. I need yeah. to figure out about the work because I'm yeah. not gonna stay here. I don't know.
Yeah. It's like, well, you can't stay here because they're, they're supposed to crack down tomorrow. No, not here. Oh, oh, different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not here. I'm like, gonna go to Orange. Oh, I see. Friend okay. of mine have a house there. Oh. Okay. His family. Oh, okay. That'd be good. He's been living already there for a little bit. Before, I mean, not for a little bit, for a few years. Yeah. So they had some. They fight and they kicked him out. So now he got back to. Uh, his house okay so he's kind of like drug dealer is we all love drug dealers no <laughs> oh. joke uh oh i'm joking on that yeah. no 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 he's cool okay uh, so he's like it's that place is crashing so yeah let's see what we can do about it yeah 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 and, uh, we go yeah. from there yeah so hopefully in the next couple hours yeah Okay. I get something different. Uh, yeah. I'll be, I'll I'm right going to be leaving a last person. Last person to leave? <laughs> get the, okay. As long as you, but you can actually probably go tomorrow too, I think. If they, yeah, if they come tomorrow, I mean, if, you could probably do it tomorrow. If, we, if everybody going to be start going, you know, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think there will be any any problem with the, with the PD awesome. and stuff like that. Oh. So. Hey, Lexi. All right. Damn it. What are you calling? All right, Josh. Why speak of it? Speak of the devil. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys. All I right. got I gotta wrap, I wrap the video up and then uh, I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's the bus you guys. Uh here's the tents. We'll see how many are left by tomorrow. But I really hope this works out for some people. Please pray that it does, that good things happen at this illumination foundation. Um do join homeless advocates for Christ on Facebook. That is homeless advocates for Christ. Share the video, and um, if you want to get involved, do let me know. For our outreach to the homeless, pray for our church too, and um, I'm trying to help in different ways. And the more support we get, the better. So thanks for your prayers and support. May God bless you as you seek for His kingdom always. Bye bye.